hi guys welcome back again to my channel it is timmy here today i have a book that i will be talking about and sharing a lot of things about self-discovery based on this book this book is written by you know what stay tuned and we're gonna get into the book shortly okay <laughs> This book is called A Smart Girl's Guide to Freedom and it is written by Yemi Ayodeji. This is Yemi's book really. Um, Yemi is a YouTuber, she's an author clearly and she is a self-discovery coach passionate about helping women to own their lives and live their best lives. It's like this is her book. Like this is an accurate depiction of the book that she should write. Um, and I have followed her on YouTube and she has amazing content about helping young women, moms, ask reflective questions, um, make better decisions and generally commit to being intentional with your life, which is my kind of stuff really that I really enjoy. Um, so let's get into the book before I talk too much about <laughs> about the author. So the book is a guide essentially. It is what like the title of the book is exactly what it is. It is a guide. It has a lot of questions, reflection questions in there to help you discover yourself, to help you become more aware of your unique gifts and also contains tools that empower you to deploy that to the world, so tools that help you to utilize those gifts and serve the world with it um i have notes here and i'm going to go through a couple of things that stood out for me in the book that i think that you would benefit from you can get this book on seller i would put the link below it's maybe 12 bucks i can't remember how much of the book is i can't remember now so but it's not up to 20 if my memory serves me right so it is a good investment and it's a book that you can always go back to so if you're beginning your self development journey or you are somewhere in the middle and you're kind of stuck or transitioning really and you're like okay i just have it i'm now in a different phase of my life i feel stuck again this is one of the books that you can always go back to refer to to help you think through and um come up with a plan for what to do next words that come to my mind about this book a clarity encouragement empowerment education those four words come to my mind when i think about this book like in summary of what this book is about it is designed to also be used as a seven day reflection guide where you have questions so you can go through it like in a week where you're like okay monday i would do this just seven days guide to asking yourself this question because to be honest when you start your self-discovery journey it is deep work it is deep work to be thinking about your past it is deep work to be thinking about your future it is deep work to be thinking about your presence and i say deep work because you are thinking about the things that you're thinking about you're thinking about your beliefs you're thinking about what informs your actions you're thinking about what informs your behavior those things are something that you do almost subconsciously that just kind of happen but when you have to ask yourself questions they are a lot deeper and you're like okay 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 so it has five chapters in total introduction guide to freedom thriving navigation and then true freedom and one of the things that this book talks about is the different phases of life so you have the grooming phase the defining phase the doing phase and the resting phase so the grooming phase is kind of like when you're growing up how environmental factors influence you how things that you learn from school how your parents influence you how you're just generally just influenced from that you don't really have control over and that you don't really pay attention to just while you're growing up um so that's and then you come into the defining stage. So in defining stage, you're becoming a teenager. You are maybe more aware that, okay, um, I'm becoming a person of my own. You're building your individuality. And the questions to ask yourself in a defining phase is like, who am I? Who am I really? Like, what things do I care for? What makes my heart beat? Like, what things do I, what stories do I read? I'm like angry, annoyed about it. Or that just triggers me. Those are things that would help you stay aware i'm not sure why all these cars are passing at this time but they are disturbing my video <laughs> sorry guys so these questions will help you dig deep into the things that um 
that you love that you enjoy that you think about that really mean a lot to you in the doing phase this is where you have you need more balance you have you have an idea of you know where you're going and you're starting to take steps towards that direction it is where you're seeking the balance of okay is it a good time to start sharing is it a good time to go after these dreams though that's what you do in the doing phase so you're basically taking action in the doing phase and then the resting phase is like you know order where there's more peace um there is plans for retirement so that's kind of like the idea so just generally stages of life where you go from going and i feel like it almost walks you through even your your life journey in terms of like going from like zero to like being a child being a teenager being an adult and then getting into seniors age or retirement age um i really like that also that it breaks that down for for you the other thing that i like about this book is the abc's of thriving so abcs of thriving wait where a is take action b is to build a network or community c is for credibility and um s is for sustainability so a is taking action so basically after you've discovered your unique giftings your assets that it calls i think she calls it your unique asset really where you discover a unique asset that you want to leverage it is where you're taking action where you're constantly honing your skills so if you discover that you love words you're writing constantly um you're sharing you're trying to build a community around it if that's your goal um and you are building credibility to become a voice and then you're sustaining i think this is a lot tailored to also branding if you are like i want to you know I want to brand myself or certain thing or you want to build your personal brand as you say then this is kind of tailored to that too as well let's even use the abcs um model in the sense that you want to take a course in fashion so you've recognized that you love fashionable pieces you would really see people and style them then you take action towards it you start to sketch you start to watch youtube videos on it you start to read more materials on that you build a network you follow people who are doing the thing that you want to do um you share your thoughts as well in the space and then you keep that over time so sustainability you keep that over time you don't just do it like one month and you leave like you actually follow up if you're going to a workshop and you continue to pursue it so i think that you can even transfer it even from branding to different areas of life let's talk about the sailboat theory that's the last thing i will share from this book i've never heard about the sailboat theory until now and basically it is it takes a sailboat and different parts of the sailboat and compares it to like us as humans so take the steering wheel for example in a boat it takes like it turns you in the right direction so if for human life it's like those personal values that you hold dear to yourself that help you to make choices that help you with meaningful direction so that is the steering wheel and then leak so like if there's a leak in the system those are like your weaknesses that you need to pay attention to those things that you need to grow in so that they don't cause a problem in the future for you so yeah basically this book is what it says it is it is a guide it provides a clarity it helps you to ask sit down with yourself and ask questions i suggest to do all the reflection questions to take your time if this is a journey that you're starting and you're like oh my god you know i don't really know what to do with myself i feel like i have so many ideas i don't know where to start i'm just confused i feel so you know so stuck I think this is a good place to start um, from. So I will link your Miss channel below and I would also put links to the book. And yeah, I suggest that you guys check it out. Do let me know if you've read the book. What do you think so far? And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe. Bye.